this is just going to be a quick video on how to install the full text index search on Microsoft SQL Server when you have already previously had Microsoft SQL Server Manager installed. So basically you're just going to go to the SQL Server downloads. I'm going to hit download now. And then the installer is going to be here. So I'll go ahead and open that up. And we don't need to install any of this other stuff. I deleted the setup file so I had to re-download it. So you're just going to click on download media. And you're going to install the ISO. You're going to hit download. I'm going to wait for all of that to happen. Don't mind my messiness. <laughs> Alrighty. And as you can see, I already have that installed. So when this is all done, you're going to click on Open Folder. And that's going to pop up right here. Double click on that. And then you're going to open the setup. Never already done all of this. I'm just going through the steps again to show you because I didn't see any information on any of the SQL Server 2019 for this. It was all like really old 2012 and everything. So then you go to installation, click on this. And go through all this stuff. It's probably going to take a little while. So you're just going to keep hitting next because basically we want to get down to here to feature selection. Next, add features to an existing instance. Next, my this computer is really so. <laughs> so here, I already have this checked now since I did it, but you're just going to want to check that, and then you're just going to want to hit next. And obviously, it's going to say that nothing is happening, but you just basically continue all of that, just keep hitting next, 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 and restart your SQL Server, and then you should successfully be able to have full text index, as well as the full text catalog. And now you should also be able to do everything you have to do to your full text catalogs. So anyway, I just wanted to show you guys how to do that because there's not a lot of information on it for the newer SQL servers. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright, let me know if you need anything else.